Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. So, last time, we were able to make our way back here to Baron, and I know what you're wondering, like, we're not in Baron. Well, we are, but we're currently in a tunnel that leads into a secret passage into the castle. The reason why we need to take this secret passage is because we can't get into the castle directly, and so we had to use this secret passage, but the only way we could use it was by beating up a brainwashed Yang, who much like Kane has suffered a similar fate, and so we had to beat up Yang in order to procure the key that he was given, and so we've used it to access this tunnel that we're currently in, in order to get to the castle. So we're gonna make our way right over there right now. And so, up these stairs we go. And just like that, we're back inside the castle grounds. So now we have to take this canal in order to access the castle itself by going over here. And one thing you'll notice is that as you go along, you're going to find there are not many people here. And you know, the castle has been for whatever reason, for the most part, abandoned. But, of course, you remember from last time, you saw we could not get into the front door, so... There are still some people here. And someone's calling out to us. Oh, it's Futurama guy. Cecil, welcome back to Baron. Bygone, you aren't controlled by Gorbez. No way, I am the captain of the gods. My loyalty to the state is unwavering. I see. Then come with us. You can be of great help. Yes, sir. And so now, yeah, the chief guard of Baron Bygan joins us. But you notice we had five party members and we can't have six. So, yeah, our parliament poor I'm leaving us? What's wrong? It smells like a monster. Where? Yeah, looking all over the place. Where we find this thing? Something's fishy. Can't you act a bit better? What? I was given a great gift from my master, Golbez. I'll show you. Indeed, he will. So yeah, now I have to fight Bygan. Who not only has a body to fight, but also has his appendages out that can also do nasty stuff to us. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and begin by disabling the appendages because they're actually pretty important to keep off the field for as long as possible. And if you're wondering why am I not using a group magic attack right now, well, there is a reason for that, but... Um, we're gonna hold off on the explanation for a little while. Yeah, we're gonna have now... Both appendages go away. So now we can focus on the body. So yeah, we can now just focus on this. But yeah, now his arms grow back. And so, yeah, you're probably wondering why am I not... Um, using magic on Bygan's body, and the reason is simple. The first time you cast magic, Bygan will cast Wall, which is basically this game's version of Reflect, which is another spell commonly used in old school Final Fantasy games. Oh, and that was Entangle, which is something that can cause paralysis. But yeah, if you cast magic against Bygan, it gets reflected back to you and you take the damage instead. So, we don't want to cast any magic on Bygan whatsoever, at least as far as his body is concerned. We're just gonna have Palum and Tella cast fire on the appendages, while Cecil and Yang focus on the body. So yeah, that's basically how you want to go about doing this fight. So, like I said, no point in using magic on the body when it's just going to get reflected anyway. I'm going to uh, 
pulled off here because I know Tella will likely get the kill on the left arm here. Which he does. And go for the body blows. Ooh, crit hit. Roll your arms back. Thank you. So yeah, just keep repeating this process and you'll be fine. Yeah, 600 more points on the right arm. Yeah, this guy can still hurt pretty badly because of what we're doing here. Now we just wait for the arms to grow back again. And just keep doing this. Yeah, no, there's not much going on for Porum in this fight, is there, other than healing? Yeah, poor girl, she's not getting much action. And not that kind of action, you people with disgusting minds. Alright, tell her do your thing. Arms come back. Form, you hold still. Just chill out there for a while. Oh, a bit of a hit on her now. And now, yeah, we're start we're starting to run low on magic. This isn't good. Um, take a parry, I guess, there, Palum. Until we get back to your turn. Because those arms will grow back. Unless we're able to beat him right here and now. And we did! Alright! Yeah, if... If you defeat Baigan's body bef while his arms are still out on the field, you still have to kill the arms. They don't all go down together. So, yeah, it's a weird thing if you get that to happen. So Cecil gains a level. But yeah, we took quite a beating out there. See? Be careful, Cecil! Yeah. And if that's what happened to Baigan, who knows what else happened to everyone else in here. So, in case you were wondering if you can leave right now, we can attempt to do so, but the guards are still blocking the door, so that's just not possible. So what we need to do right now is actually because since we just dealt with the boss, you can probably imagine what's going to continue to happen as long as we continue to travel around the castle. So we're going to make our way back over to the save point we were at, we'll use the tent, um, and then come back here and move on to see where we can find the next boss to deal with here in Baron. So back a moment and we will get to that particular fight. Okay, party is fully recovered and it's time for us to continue to push on. So we're going to make our way to see if we can't have a confrontation with the king. Yeah, remember me? Cecil, I'm happy you returned. Your majesty. I see you become paladin, but I do not like that. That's not good, Cecil. Well, too bad he's changed loyalties. King Baron! Who's that? Oh, I remember. He's the fool who refused to surrender. Oh, yes. And I took his place. Ha ha ha. You want to see the king? Don't worry. You'll see him soon enough. I'm not like Mylon. See? I'm surprised that he made it as one of the four fiends of elements. Then you are... Yeah. 
He's just a fake. Masquerade gone. Indeed, I am the fiend of water, cannot so. Kane, how did you get a brother that looked like this? I guess we shouldn't be surprised, should we? So yeah, now we gotta deal with him. And since he is water elemental, that means we can spam magic that is lightning elemental. And it's actually essential for us to use this, because as you'll see, he has some tricks up his sleeve. Like doing this. Gathering the water makes him basically immune to physical attacks, so you need your mages to help you out here. Now what I'm gonna do is pretty risky, but I'm gonna have poor on parry because um, when Kinatsu um, does his ultimate attack and he does have one, it's called Wave, which I believe we've shown off already in this Let's Play, and it does damage to everyone. Oh yeah, that thing. Yeah, and it can be substantial if you allow it to go unchecked for a long time. So yeah, we want as much lightning to going at this guy as we can. Go ahead with the cure 2 there, Porum. Okay, good. Perfect timing! Yeah, Kinatsu will gather water again. And then in comes Tella to do this. Yeah, he takes more damage when he has the water up, and then he hides inside his shell. But you can still fight him normally. Yeah, still hiding inside his shell. What are you, chicken? Yeah, just like that, boom, he's gone. Yeah, the reason Yang was able to damage him as much as he could was because I had a Thunderclaw on. So, that definitely helped a lot. But yeah, we just kicked Kinatsu to the curb, and unlike Mylon, he does not have a second form. You imposter! Imposter? What are you talking about? You're gonna put me pay for putting me in that smelly joint. What? Yeah, there's no one around. We killed the phony king. Sid! Oh, Cecil, where is Rosash? She ran after you. Golbez took her. Golbez abused my airship and now Rosa! Yeah, we're not happy about it. We must rescue her. Lead us to the airship. Who is this strange old man? What? How about yourself? <laughs> I'm still young. Compared to Palam and Poram, no way. Yeah. Poram, let's intervene here. Oh, please stop, Mr. Sid. This is Master Tella, a great sage. This is Yang, the karate master of Fabu, and I'm Poram, a white wizard of Messidia. And as for your twin brother? Hi, guys! That is my twin brother, Palom. Yeah! Yeah. Why were our heads down there, Yang? I'm glad to meet you, sir. Well, he knows some matters. Where is the latest airship? Well... Yeah, do you know where it is? Where nobody would suspect. We have no time. Yeah, we must go. Oh, be quiet and follow me. Yeah. Yeah, don't hold that pose there, pal. We gotta go. Uh oh. He he he. I didn't expect you to defeat me, but this does not mean anything to this cannot so. Why don't you accompany me to the dark world? 
Yeah, as in... Yeah, what's going on here? Walls! Yeah, walls as in... The walls are closing in. And the doors are locked! No! This is not good. What are we gonna do? Palom! Palom! Thanks, dude! We love to be with all of you! What? You won't be stuck in a place like this! Please look after Cecil Master Teller! Like, what? Re ready, Param! Yes! This is not good. Wait! No! Don't! Stone! Ow! Oh, Palom! Palom! Yeah. The twins sacrificed themselves by blocking the door by turning into a heavy weight. What a rash thing to do! Here. Except... No effect. No effect. They have become stoned by their will. Yeah. What a loss of- Yeah. Fools! An old man should fulfill his share first! Yeah. What a loss of a pair of young twins. And yeah, not surprisingly, all heads are down. Oh, children! I shall avenge! Yeah, you're out for a lot of blood, aren't you there, Tella? I'll avenge you! To the Enterprise! Yeah. Wait for me! Golbez! So yeah, now Tulla's got three people to avenge. Meanwhile... Yeah, remember these guys? Seems like Kane also has been defeated. About the last crystal? I know, but it is a problem. How about if we let Cecil get it for you? Cecil? Yeah. Go on. We have Rosa. We can exchange her for the last crystal. Yeah. That's an idea. We can do away with him then. I'll be the messenger. Yeah, because Mylon's dead. Kane! I'll show you that I'm better than your sweet Cecil. Yeah, he's a man on a mission. Meanwhile, back in the castle, it's a surprise! They obviously didn't understand. And so, open the door! And auto take us to where the airship is. So here we are. The original Enterprise from ten games earlier. What a surprise! Amazing! Let's go now, Enterprise! Enterprise, engage! So yeah, in a cloud of smoke and dust, the Enterprise emerges. Which means we have an airship now! Here they come! Let's see the power of this Enterprise! Wait! White flag for surrender. Yeah, for surrender. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, what's going on? 
this is what's going on. Yeah, it's Kane. We knew he was coming after us. You are alive. Yeah, we are. What do you think you're doing, Kane? Whatever he wants. How is Rosa? Worried. If you want her back, get me the Crystal of Earth. Crystal of Earth? Of Terroria? Dirty slime. I'll exchange her with the Crystal. Crystal or Rosa's life. You! Wake up, Kane! That's all. Yeah, we have nothing further to discuss. Give me a crystal, or we're killing someone you care about. A classic adventure RPG trope. Cecil, that cane. Sid, let's go to Terroria. So yeah, Sid will give us directions on how to use the airship. It can only be landed on flat ground like this. It cannot be landed on a forest, river, or mountain. So they say go to Terroria, which is going to be way over here. And as you can see, the entrance to get in here is really tiny. So we're going to go into the castle. And we're going to speak with some people in particular. We're going to go directly to the throne room because there's no actual king here. But it's all these young ladies who act as sages, basically. And they run this place. Crystal of Earth! Dark Elf took it and we must take it back. But how? Metals get heavy in the cave of the Northwest. Your swords and armors of metal will be the same. Dark Elf is in a cave over on an island over in the Northeast. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Like, we have conflicting information. She says the cave is in the Northwest. She says the cave is over in the Northeast. Well, as it turns out, this young lady is telling the truth. This was a typing error, I guess. The land will return to desert without the crystal of earth. Dark Elf is weak against metallic weapons, so he sealed the cave with a magnetic field. If you can get it back, show it to us first, then we promise to lend it to you. You cannot have it, but if you can take it back, you may use our crystal of earth for a good purpose. We the eight clerics rule this country. We used to have the blessing from the crystal of earth. Not now. So yeah, basically what um, everything they told us um, is going to be very important for what we're going to be doing. So we're going to go over here. Because we can make our way over to this particular staircase. And we can choose some three. There's nothing down the middle right now. So we're going to see what's over on the left. And there's a young lady over here. But we can't talk to her until after we get the Crystal of Earth. So then we're going to come over here. And we can help ourselves to all this treasure. Which includes, yeah, and every time you pass by a door, another one opens. We got a tent, another tent. Then in room number two, a cure two, and another cure two. Cure twos will be very important when we go to our next destination. We have two ethers. And finally in chamber number four, two ruby rings. And so, that's taken care of. Now what we're going to need to do is, you remember they said that dealing with the Dark Elf who took the crystal, he's weak against metallic weapons, but he created a magnetic barrier within his cave. 
or moreover, his cave has a magnetic effect to it. So we cannot go into the cave that he's located in equipped as we are. So we're going to have to change our setup as far as equipment is concerned. So over here in the armor shop, yeah, we want to buy actually another ruby ring because strangely enough, um, the ruby ring is not affected by metal, but pretty much every th other type of accessory is. Which is weird, but hey, that's just how it goes. And then here in the weapon and armor shop, we want to buy ourselves... We don't need a wooden wrench, because Sid already is equipped with one. We want to take a great bow. And then we're going to start equipping people with it, with some of the stuff. So, in order to equip a bow, we first must first unequip what we had with the... With what we um, had with the shields, and then... We can equip with 80 white arrows, and that sets us up for what we need. So now, what we need to do next... Um, also, by the way, Sid or Yang's claws are not affected by what we're doing here. Also, I could have sworn I equipped him with a Thunder Claw. Well, that'll change given what we're doing. Although... Oh, where'd it go? Did I not actually give him one? Okay. You know, we'll have to go and get another one to correct that, so... Yeah, Sid is going to need a bit of a equipment upgrade, but we cannot quite do that here. We're going to go over... Now, we actually do have some stuff that he can use, but not yet. Let's go over first to... Um, we need to go over to... back to Mycidia. What we're going to do next. And this is the regular airship music. So since we know where it is to get to Mycidia... We're gonna set down. Because we need to get light armor for everyone else. In fact, we need to get the best light armor that's currently available. And it's only available here in Mycidia, so... We are getting ourselves a Gaia armor... And we're going to equip this to Cecil. And give him that. Now, of course, we also need to unequip the um, arms, but we can give him a ruby ring. And in fact, I should probably get a fourth. Wait a minute, where's the... Oh, okay, it's because I'm... Alright, I know where I am. Yeah, there are some things we can give him. And then... Tella... We have to take the silver ring off of him, because that will be affected by the metal. So that's something we cannot have on him. So yeah, we'll have to go get him another ruby ring. But as far as um, current equipment is concerned, like, Cecil's good with what he has. And something else I'm also going to need to do... Of course, go back to Terroria. So we can, just so we can get a leather cap for Sid. So we'll go back to Terroria. Thankfully, it's not that far to fly on an airship. And yeah, thankfully, it's not that far to fly. And so by City Leather Cap, we'll also get a ruby ring for Tella. And equip accordingly. Set some leather, there we go. Yeah, so basically what we have here as it currently stands is as good as we can hope to get with what we have. So everything you see here is pretty much the best we can currently possess to take to where we're going. 
So for now, that is what we're going to go ahead and save and bring the episode to a close here. Because, yeah, we know what's coming next. And it's going to be a pretty tough cavern. In fact, it's considered, because of the handicap that will be put, placed on us right from the get-go, it will be one of the hardest places to tackle. Plus, since the cleric said it was on, a, on an island, how are we going to get there? Well, you'll just have to wait until the next episode to find out. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. And when I join you again, we will make our way over to the cave where the Dark Elf is in the hopes that we can take back the Crystal of Earth. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew with Navarro Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.